What is going on, everybody? This is the Jaspies 23 box Selly Hockey Mixer Random Teams with this Austin Matthews Pop 1, only one graded out of 10. Premier Patch Auto number 199. Whoever uh, gets this, definitely be doing a Selly in this Selly Hockey Mixer, a celebration. Uh, that'll probably be tomorrow, chance. Alright, so let's roll the dice, and we're going to go seven times. This is probably an hour and a half, two hour break we're about to start. So it'll pretty much take me to the end of the night. So here we go. Remember that giveaway for the Austin Matthews won't be done until the end of the break. Remember, 31 teams in this hockey break. There are some boxes, not a lot, that have um, no Golden Knights. So just an FYI. Most of the boxes are 17, 18 on. I think like maybe two or three of the boxes are not, so... Couple of the panini boxes. All right, so we got Nicholas D down to uh, Wade. And now seven times on the list of NHL teams. I don't think any Thrashers. No. Oldest box is twelve, thirteen. I think the Thrashers were gone. What ten, eleven? Maybe I forget. Five, six. And seven. Florida Panthers down to the Ducks. So here you go. Nick D. Panthers. David V. Canadiens. Chris Parent. Red Wings. Chad. Vegas. Uh, Robert. Blue Jackets. Daniel. Islanders. Mike. Flames. Jason K. Lightning. Wade with the Sabres. Stephen K. With a spot you won in Ice 2. Hurricanes. John McCall. Avalanche. Fred Canucks, Ryan Rangers, Mike Leafs, John Blackhawks, Ryan Predators, Brad Jets, uh, Steve Stars, Jan Kings, Zach Bruins, Scott with the Senators, Ryan with the Oilers, Josh with the Penguins, Zach with the Coyotes, Ryan with the Blues, Wade with the Devils, Steve with the Flyers and Wild, Mike McCarthy Caps, Zach Sharks and Wade, Last Spot Mojo, Anaheim Ducks. Uh, since this is an expensive break, we'll give it some time to see if there's any trades. If not, uh, we'll be right back. All right, there was a trade, everybody. A little buzzer beater trade at the end here. The Vegas Golden Knights were on the block, the trading block. They got traded for the Florida Panthers. So we'll see how that goes while we break this. Here is, once again, this bad boy population of one graded a 10. Very thick case, PSA, Premier Patch Auto, Austin Matthews, randomized at the end. All right, here is the list. Starting with the, most of the base heavy stuff, a lot of the one pack stuff will be at the end. Um, this should take me to around midnight, so I think we're trying to sell out this one pack break of Prism to get the, uh, whatchamacallit sold out, to get... The, uh, it looks like it will. Two left, so that'll be my last break of the night coming up probably around 12.30 or so. All right, so first thing we're going to do is a couple tins. This one is Series 2. I don't think I've ever broken one of these tins before, to be honest. Jason likes these tins a lot, I know, though. He says there's some pretty good value in there. Some young guns. Remember, no veteran base card ship, but all the inserts and rookies and all that do. So, should be a lot of fun. And you can see on the top camera all the packs and stuff in case one of them goes off this main camera. So if you're not in on a break, you want to uh, do something else, Teddy is live on Instagram right now. He's got personal boxes. I think he's got a line, so probably pretty much the last call or so. I'd order something if you want at RIP tonight. We do also uh, offer ship sealed. And if you're in the LA area, you can pick it up at our shop here at Curbside. We should have our retail store open hopefully in the next couple weeks. We're doing a couple of remodels. 
while the uh, quarantine is still kind of going on here. And uh, we'll be back open pretty soon. Probably some, you know, guidelines and stuff we have to follow. Not, no, nothing more than probably, you know, four or five people, non-employees at, at once. Probably won't be doing any train nights the next couple months. We'll see, though. We have a big outdoor space, so maybe it'd work outside. Alright, so we got that, and then the uh, glossy pack here. Alright, so Sandine, Gusev, and Barry, uh, Barrett Hayton. All those glossies will ship. Not numbered on any of those. Kale Fleury. There's marquee rookies of Gaten Haas for the Oilers. Noah Dobson. Young Guns Canvas, Igor Shesterkin for the New York Rangers. That's Ryan Harold. Apologies in advance if I don't nail all the names. There's a Young Guns of Nikolai. I'm not even going to try that last name. Kings Nikolai. Ryan Lindgren, Young Guns. There's P.K. Subban, Devils Edition. Gaten Haas, Portrait. All right, and that was the uh, 1920 Series 210. And we should have another hockey mixer up for tomorrow. Don't have quite a card like the Austin Matthews giveaway, but maybe we can add um, a few more boxes to the mixer. All right, this is a Series 110 here. After this, we might do some allure. Then we got, we'll do those uh, rookie commemorative box sets. I think all those cards will ship, so get 25 rookies in every box. So we'll see if maybe we can hit an autograph in one of those. We got a trilogy. Ryan is asking uh, any big names for the Predators, if anyone can help out Ryan. I'm trying to think. Roman Yossi a name? Maybe he's... I don't know if he was a rookie the last few years. There's a UD Canvas, Sebastian Aho. Cody Glass. Golden Knights, Young Guns. All the uh, Young Guns and stuff will get sleeved and top loaded. The Shooting Stars, Carey Price, Canadians. Cool insert. There you go. Quinn Hughes, nice. Uh, actually, two Quinn Hugheses. A uh, bronze and then a uh, base glossy. Nice. There's a Young Guns checklist, Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes. We'll randomize that left and right. The end of the break. Connor Hellebuck. And that was the 10. Cool.
All right, let's do some trilogy. Quinn Hughes should win the Halder or Calder, uh, Brad, or uh, Jack Hughes. You're talking about Quinn Hughes, right? I feel like Jack Hughes has been a rookie for a few years. I don't know why I think that. Chad, not a fan of Jack Hughes. He's still pretty young, right? The, uh, the guy next year, though, um, Alexis, uh, how do you say his last name? Lafinieri. Looks to be pretty legit. Sagan, there's a uh, Alexandre to share. There's Philip Zadina. That's number to 999 rookie premieres. Lundquist, Vitali Abramov, not numbered. Adam Fox, number to 499 relic. New York Rangers going out to Ryan Harold. Nathan Bastian. Ooh, that's a cool one. I like these signature pucks. That's uh, Ryan Zingle, Columbus. Silver Ink, that's a cool card. Uh, Robert G with that one. Barrett Hayton. There's uh, Blake Lazat, number 999, level one rookie. Zadina. Tara Heroes, number 999 for the Red Wings. Number to 799, Mackenzie for the uh, Buffalo, sorry, St. Louis Blues. That's it for that box trilogy. Uh, let's do these three blasters here. I don't think you're guaranteed anything in this one, but you get some cool rookies, maybe. I think it's just you get the rookie set. But possible autographs in these. When's the, uh, when's the NHL draft lottery supposed to happen? Yeah, I'm pretty sure next year's hockey is kind of uh, Upper Deck told us at their conference that it's supposed to be a little more hyped. A little better rookie class than this year. Ooh, next Friday. Nice. And of course, these are all ships since these are all rookies here in this set. sense. That's right. Alright. So yeah, like I said, I think you get the same 25 rookies in every single one. Possibly an autograph. I want to take out the Hughes and Capos and stuff.
All right, so no autos, but got some uh, some rookies in there. Let's do a lore hockey. See what we can hit from there. So like I said, might have another hockey mixer up in the store tomorrow. Probably won't be this as much price since we don't have, you know, over a thousand dollar car to give away in it. But we have some other cool hockey cards here at this shop that we can add in there. We'll give away. I do like this allure a lot. Kind of has, you know, that chrome prism feel. Maybe if they rebrand it a little bit, it might catch on, you know. They do have OPG Platinum, which is a lot like, uh, you know, kind of the prism chrome-ish design for hockey, but I like the allure a lot. So we'll do this, then we'll do some uh, Series 1, Opeachy, SP Authentic, and then we got a good amount of uh, one-pack boxes to do. P.K. Subban, Allure, not numbered, it's a, kind of a Pulsar design, it's cool. Seth Jones, Die Cut White. There's a Nikita Gusev, top 50 relic for the Devils. That's going out to Wade. Yeah, it's kind of a select. That's a good uh, comparison. It's Quinn Hughes. There's Tomas Hurdle, White Rainbow. We got a uh, Andre Lightning, Red Rainbow jersey for the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. Jason K. This is cool. Open ice. Sidney Crosby. That's one there for the Penguins. Alex DeBrincat. Red Rainbow. We got a Philip Zadina. Orange number 199. Orange Slice die cut. I like that name. Of course, that's Red Wings in that one. There's Victor Olofsson. Another Victor Victor Olofsson white rainbow. There you go. That's a lore. So we will have a recap at the end of the uh, the hits and whatnot. What's up, Curtis? I know. Just doing a big hockey mixer on the uh, the night of the McDavid selling. We also got, in case anyone's joining us, check out the, uh, check this out. Right on the homepage of ESPN.com is this uh, article about the McDavid. And John was nice enough to give us a shout out in that. So that's really cool. First time being in ESPN, definitely. Definitely our highest, highest card, uh, highest price card sold on record. Network will have the uh, article on it too. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, the we we're in the Edmonton Journal, also, Curtis. Let's 
Yeah, we, um, I think probably, uh, tomorrow we'll add a lot more stuff to the personal website. We finally brought back all the inventory. Also kind of doing some construction to the shop while we're closed. Adding another break studio and a, uh, some more room for the sorting team. Alright, so this is Upper Deck Series 1 Retail Hockey. That's right, freed, freed all of the, uh, of the stragglers. Might have some hit packs tomorrow, maybe uh, Sunday actually, we'll see. Teddy's been pretty busy with the new releases. Young Guns, Gaten Haas. There's a UD Canvas Ovechkin. Shooting Stars, Brennan Gallagher. Remember all the inserts and rookies. Ship, of course. All the Young Guns will get sleeved and top loaded. Dante Fabro for Nashville. Matthew's uh, UD Portraits. Vlasic. Canvas. like the pick. Connor Bunneman. Flyers Young Gun. There's a, another randomizer we gotta do left right for. Leon Drysidel. There's Young Guns, Ilya Mikheyev, Maple Leafs, Rasmus Canvas. We got a Jonathan Druin relic going out to the Montreal Canadiens. UD game jersey. That's uh, David Velez with that Jonathan Druin. I thought he was on the Panthers. He must have, must have moved. Moved on. It's a nice relic there. I think that should be hit the, hit of the box. Maybe a couple more young guns or something. There's a young guns of Carson Coleman. Bruins. Mark Stone. Oh, that's right, Lightning. Wrong wrong uh Florida team. Canvas Jake Gunsel. Young Guns Nico Sturm. Nice one there. Minnesota Wild. That is it for the retail box. Might as well kill this uh, Series 1 hobby. Do back-to-back -back Series 1s. Then we'll do the uh, 1920 El Pichi Hockey. And then we got two boxes of SP Authentic 1920. And then we got a whole bunch of one-pack boxes. Dominion Prime... SPX, Synergy, SP Game Use, Premier, Dominion, and a couple others. Yeah, I think they were going to email you today, Curtis, if they haven't already. Maybe I need to give them a reminder. I gave them a price to email you. I think it was going to be six fifty plus whatever the shipping is. I think you have a U.S. address now, right, Curtis? But, um, I obviously won't know how much the shipping will be until we get it weighed and stuff. But yeah, I got I got that one on order for you, so you got that locked down no matter what. If you choose to uh, grab it.
Yeah, that's good. Yeah, definitely. I'd imagine it's even helpful for non-card purchases and stuff. What's up, Joe? Yeah, you can see, we're actually on the homepage of ESPN. On the top headlines, we're like, like the bottom of the top headline. That's awesome. And it seems like Action Network uh, might have an article on it too. That's cool. I'm sure it's going to get picked up by a lot of places now that it's on ESPN. Probably NHL.com, the others. It just ended a few hours ago, Curtis. I like how they put Jaspie's films as case breaks and post them on YouTube. In a video on December 9th, host Jason of Jaspie's vis visibly lurched forward when the McDavid card was revealed. His hands started shaking, and then he told a co-worker he was going to have a heart attack. That's so cool. Alright, this Patrick Waugh looks different. It must be an insert of some sort. Ship that. Quinn Hughes Young Guns. Very nice. Nice one there for Vancouver, going out to Fred Williams. Uh, it sold for a hair over 113000 plus a 20% buyer's premium that they have to pay to the auction house Leland's. So that's the Leland's cut. The buyer has to pay that. So with the buyer's premium, I think it's a little over 136 Connor Hellebuck, Canvas. Johnny Hockey, Energy. Connor Hallibuck, Portraits. Joel Le Esperance. Is he French? That's uh, Stars. No, he was born in Michigan. I guess he could be French still. Wayne Gretzky, right there. Mackenzie Mackern, Young Gun, Andres Anastasio, Canvas, Max Domi Energy. Yeah, well, you have to bid in the increments that Leland's makes you, uh, Curtis. Like you can't just end, you can't just type in your own bid. Um, like you, it's a drop down menu and then you have to pick like which I think it's increments of 10% so yeah it is kind of weird um, Zach McEwen Brock Besser Energy David Pasternak ooh this is a cool one Generation Next Andre Sch Sven Svennikov. 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 TJ Oshi acetate. It's for the caps. Going out to Mac. I know, right? Yeah, they are. Uh, I'm sure they're doing pretty good. They do do a lot of PR, you know. They have to reach out to places like ESPN to get it published. There's a UD Canvas, John Tavares. You know, they got to bring it to ESPN and stuff, you know, have a PR agent. I'm sure it takes a lot of time to source all that. But yeah, definitely uh, not a bad business model. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Canvas. Teddy Bluger, Penguins, Young Gun. Brent Burns. Ooh, ABC posted it. Nice. Matt Roy. Yeah, it's awesome, Ryan, right? Free, uh, some free PR. 
I like how they I like how John got it um, I'm sure John helped telling them to shout at us too they even got Jason's full name in there Jason Cordero His name is Jaspi. I know it got revealed. And I like how they explained uh, the number blocks, Joe. Should just copy that guy's description along with the individuals there were five random number blocks that had teams assigned to them each of these blocks including nine investor names i like that investor names nine investor names each assigned a random number that would correspond with the last digit of the numbered card that was pulled for that team yeah well that break ryan so i initially ordered the cases and I was like, okay, this should fill within a couple days. I think it was up for like two weeks. So we had to really scratch and claw to fill that up. And we only had, you know, one case of 1516. I think it was one case of 1415. And then one 1819. Three box in our cases. Um, we had to really kind of dig deep to fill that. We had to, so it was a random team break. We had to do number blocks of the random teams. So it was kind of tricky. But yeah, it was uh, obviously ended up being worth it. I know. They said, uh, although this might get some heat, it says, uh, John, essentially, John won a lottery to earn the chance to own the McDavid card. I was like, eh, maybe don't put lottery near our business name. I don't want to get like the feds involved or something. Like, maybe remove it. I know, I think I'm, I think Jason was so stunned just by the, he didn't know the number, and then I was like, what's it numbered? And then he goes, 97.99, I'm like, whoa, that, that made it even more intense. Yeah, the video, <laughs> Jason, his hands are shaking and stuff, it's awesome. I know, we're gonna, we're gonna single-handedly take down the case break industry with that. I was like, oh, essentially not a lottery. Come on. They're going to get their nose in it. Domi. Blue team checklist. Tyler Myers, black border, 69 of 100. I like these cards. Tyler Sagan. It's like a playing card design. Yeah, call it an investment, dude. Kyle Clifford. He did call it an investment, though. That's funny, though. Kachuk. Quinn Hughes marquee rookies. I think... Um, Lottery is a better term than gambling, too. I don't know. Riley Smith.
But yeah, that's definitely one of like our best reaction videos. I mean, uh, there's a Mark Scheifele, number to 100. Definitely the highest card we've ever pulled um, recorded. Oops. There's a Mark Scheifele playing card. Dollar wise. Brent Burns. Stamkos. Yeah, they linked the one that I chopped up, right? The uh, the quick one. I'm glad they didn't link the one hour one. I know, right? Watch us pull the Zion logo, man. ESPN will have to have another article for us. Like Connor McDavid is is awesome though. It feels a uh, yeah, it feels a basketball player would be on uh, the ESPN bottom ticker probably. Design will probably be. Uh, no, Nick. Uh, we have uh, Prism Cello number forty two sold out after this. Um, which sells out NT Basketball one box break number four. So everything is already sold out for tonight. Um, we got to do the Cello forty one and forty two. I gotta fill in the orders for those. Probably be done with this hockey mixer in probably an hour. And then uh, we'll do those two cello pack breaks. We'll do the one box break of NT. And then that'll be it. How do you see the views on it? Does it tell you the views counter on ESPN? Oh, the video. Duh. Well, it was at three. It was at like three thousand before all this press. Man, these packs are hard as heck to open. Yeah, I know. I was mentioning that earlier. I was like, "Well, oh, SI didn't get us in, but now we're at ESPN, a far superior, you know, publication." My opinion. More people visit ESPN than. Uh, SI.com. Huh? Yeah. 113,000. It's on the homepage of ESPN.com. I said uh, I'm gonna have to post a lot of hockey breaks for tomorrow and Sunday and Monday. We're gonna get all these hockey guys and gals coming to our website. I'm gonna have to have hockey in the top of the page. Bring back hockey land. <laughs> yeah, we'll get Lars to sit on a break. That car is gone. Gibson, Brock Besser Limited. Mark Scheifele, Sign of the Times on Card Auto for the Winnipeg Jets. Sign of the Times, Brad Monroe. You think so, Curtis? I don't think they're that good. No, I'm just joking. No, we've been lucky. 
Uh, there's Ram Pitlick to nine ninety nine. That's for Ryan Shackleton with the Nashville Predators. Is it on the ESPN Twitter yet, uh, Joe? Maybe they'll post that to their um, Instagram and Twitter, which is, you know, huge reach. That'd be cool. To 999, Jacob Lilja. Future, Andre Vasileski. Maybe tomorrow they'll post it since it's kind of late there. Eric Brandstrom. Young Guns, Igor Shesterkin. Ryan Harold with the Rangers. All right, that was one box of SPA. Now the second one. They tweeted that to the 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 reporter. Damn. Someone's someone's salty. I think it would have gone for the around the same amount, George. Maybe a little more. I don't think the nine hurt it at all. You know, it's like a one one you know? Unless the one one is damaged, you know, a grading a one one card really doesn't add too much value to it, in my opinion. You know? Like I said, unless it's like, you know, came back like a PSA 6 or something. A modern card. And you know, nine, 9 is a solid grade for a cup card. I bet majority of those cards come out like eight and a half, like near mint. You mean like in history of case breaks, Brad? I have no idea. Do you count vintage break, like vintage pack breaking in that? Then I'm sure it's like one of those vintage, you know, PSA 10 Jordan or something. Someone pulled, you know, and then you get to the like, do repacks count? Where people buy cards and then put them, you know, like buyback repacks. But from a pack, I don't know. It's a good question. Whoever hits his Zion Logo Man 101. Hopefully we do. We'll probably be the highest, um, you know, non-LeBron Mike Trout card. You know, there was a red. Oh, there's a Max Veranu to nine ninety nine Senators. There was a uh, Trout Red Refractor Auto that just sold for nine hundred k. There's an exquisite LeBron James card that I think is ending soon. It's going to end up over a million dollars. So it's pretty crazy right now. You know, it's like uh, it's like the summer of ninety eight, where each card just beats the next card, or you know, the next card beats the previous high
There's Igor Shesterkin to 9.99 future watch auto. But yeah, I mean, someone had to have pulled that, uh, you know, trout a while ago. Maybe it was on camera. I think Card Infinity has a video where they pulled a uh, trout orange auto. And it was like before he was big. And then you can hear Chris in the video, who's the owner of that shop. He goes like, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if this guy's any going to be any good or something like that. That was cool. Cam Lafferty, Spectrum FX. That's probably like a few hundred thousand dollar card, I'd imagine. Adam Johnson Young Guns. That's it for that box. Alright, so we're moving on to some of the uh, one pack boxes. We got some Prime, some Crown, we'll do first. Let's knock out all the Panini hockey, and then we'll move on to the Upper Deck hockey. So remember, group break checklist on any redemptions. Not sure if Panini will be able to fulfill hockey, but I think they'll at least get you points um, if we do hit a redemption. No panini points in this because I don't think those are a thing yet. I know if if you had uh, that kind of card, Ryan, you'd have to have it. Yeah, like in a uh, insured one of those where they like you know the bank has the vault, the art and stuff like that, like a serious safety deposit box. This is Crown, Crown Hockey. There's Mark Messier, dual relic for the Rangers, Silver Chalice. New York Rangers on that one, that's going out to Ryan Harold. Zadino Chara, Silver Chalice. Bruins relic. We got a nice scratching the surface auto Emerson Eaton going out to the Ducks and wait. I'd rather own the card. There's Jonathan Quick Relic. Although I'm not a huge I think I missed a numbered card. It's gold. Uh that's Pinzoto, number four ninety nine. I probably wouldn't buy hockey first just because it's not my main sport. I'd buy something like a LeBron. Um there's Bernie Federico. Kobe Bryant, maybe. St. Louis Blues, Voices of the Game. Joe Finley, Auto for the Islanders. Sovereign Sigs. There's Alex Killorn, Two Color Patch, Silhouette Auto. Rookie for the Lightning, 2 of 99. That's going out to Jason K. There's the Dino Char again, coat of arms. And Jonathan Huberto, relic, Lords of the NHL, Florida. Alright, that was Crown. Let's do this Dominion.
Yeah, I've never gotten into art, at least yet. I know people are starting to get into, like, investing in wine, too. I don't know anything about that, though. That's what, uh, you know, is happening now. That's why cards have taken a huge spike, definitely. Part of the reason is a lot of people are looking at it as a, uh, you know, in t uh, ulterior investment. Versus, you know, the traditional stock market and stuff. You know, huge influence from China, Asia, all around there. Philippines. Japan, all that. Australia, Canada. There's Brad Marchand to 299 for the Bruins. There's Thomas Vanek for the Sabres. Number 299. Ryan Stanton, rookie autograph, number 299 for the Blackhawks. That's John. Keith Yandel, Relic, 88 of 99 for the Coyotes. A little bit of uh, chipping on the left there with the foil. Back when they were the Phoenix Coyotes, that's Zach Paul. Nice. Steve Iserman, 39 of 50. Two-color patch, peerless patches. Auto, Stevie Iserman. Nice. That's Detroit Red Wings, Chris Parent. Awesome card. I love this Dominion set. It's like kind of like an NT of hockey. Although they did do NT hockey. We ripped so much of that NT hockey. It was so hot. I remember. Nathan McKinnon stuff were going for tens of thousands of dollars. Nail Yakupov for the Oilers was big. And there is a uh, Jamie Oleksiak to two ninety nine. I think Alex Galchenyuk was a big rookie. Bunch of other guys. All right, Prime. Why is the guy from Breaking Bad in a kids' TV show with Anna Ferris? Badger from Breaking Bad. We got 2 of 25, Henrik Zetterberg, gold for the Red Wings. Yeah, you could do boxes with a lot of stuff. Sneakers, you could do high-end sneaker set. And the redemption is Claude Giroux. I believe that is Flyers. Like I said, not sure if you're going to be able to get this exact card. But I do think they'll uh, hook you up either way. Yeah, Flyers. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Flyers is Steve Birch. Love this prime hockey. Cool patches in this set, a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah, you might be able to hook, uh, they might be able to get you some points. The 249 John Tavares, or maybe a, a different hockey card they got. This is a randomizer Patrick Waugh and John Van Beesbrook. Number 50, dual patch. This is all one team. Doc, 6 of 15. Timu Solani, Ryan Getzloff, Francois Bosemix, Boseman, and Jonas Hiller. Number 15 for Wade Preston. Autograph, Jakob Silverberg, number 25 for the uh, Ottawa Senators. Scott C. 
Yeah, I was talking about that earlier. Austin Matthews. But someone said it was an asymptomatic, which is, I think, good to hear. Uh, quad Relic Duel Color to 249. Tory Krug. Bruins. That's Zach Paul. I mean, yeah. Let's see. I don't really want to get too deep into the Corona talk because that might be, you know, people get, people have opinions on that stuff now. But yeah, we'll see what happens, you know. Three months is a long time. For football, at least. Basketball is still not for another, you know, month and a half. Alright, we got number 125, Evgeny Malkin, Penguins. And for the Ducks, RPA number 73. Nice hollow foil on that, Matt Clark. Anaheim going out to Wade Preston. Alright, in the pack. Timu Solani to 249. We got Sean Hunwick for the Blue Jackets. Number 50, primetime rookie jersey auto. We got a Relic uh, Colby Robach, number 99 for the Florida Panthers. Uh, Chris Chelios, prime gloves, number 25 for the Blackhawks. John McCall. And Quad Relic Auto, Jordan Nolan for the Kings. That is going to jam. Alright, and here are the last few boxes. We'll uh, end it off with the Black Diamond and Premier. Start with SP Game Used. have this must taste you European. Alright. Let's see the SPX. Hockey. Jimmy Schalt, number 295, Vegas. Ryan O'Reilly to 275. Heir to the O'Reilly Auto Parts Center. There's Henrik Lundqvist. Nice. Cool. Relic Auto for the Rangers of King Lundqvist. Going out to Ryan Harold. Quad Relic, David Pasternak, number 125 for the Boston Bruins. Zach Paul. Showcase Standouts, Kevin LeBlanc. Sharks, Zach T. And Rookie Sweaters, Tarl Heroes, number 199. Nice. Let's do some ice.
Taylor Hall Green. There is Antoine Wend Whedon, number to twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine? Are you out of your mind? Connor Clifton to four ninety nine. Austin Matthews. Ice Premier's Mario Ferraro. Going out to the Sharks. We got a Ice Premier's number to nine ninety nine Pierre Engvall. Quinn Hughes relic going out to the Vancouver Canucks, Fred Williams. And Max Pacioretty for the Vegas Golden Knights. Glacial Graphs. Vegas. That's Nick D. Alrighty. Closing in on the last few boxes here. Good luck, everybody. Remember, we do have that... Austin Matthews giveaway at the end. Probably have another hockey mixer tomorrow. Probably around the $100 range. So you can hop in and we'll have some fillers for it. Maybe two or three fillers. So you can do that too if you don't want to buy a full spot. Might have another SP Authentic case. Might post that too. I'll be live tomorrow. Joe will be live tomorrow and Sunday this week. So Joe will be live 1 o'clock Pacific or Eastern tomorrow and Sunday. Um, maybe do a little Father's Day promo Sunday. And then we have Jason back here on Monday around 2 o'clock Pacific. So that's cool. So that's pretty much our schedule. Coming up next is uh, Cellopack Pack 41 and 42. I probably have to go through like 60 orders. We'll see what um, who sold out those breaks. There's Victor Olofsson to 999. Pedersen. There's Nikita Gusev to 999. Matthew Kachuk to 899. Tara Heroes to $7.99. Henrik Lundqvist to $7.99. Dante Fabro, 20 of 20 auto. Auto rookie for the Nashville Predators. That's going out, out to uh, Ryan Shackman. Just breaking some hockey. How's your life, all right? It could be better. No, I'm just joking. It pretty good. It's the best. It's pretty much the best. Yeah. All right. I got two boxes left and I'm done. I feel alive inside. It's done. You got any, uh, four hour old French fries in there? Vitaly Abramov to seven ninety nine. The two ninety nine Taro Heroes. Quinn Hughes to nine ninety nine. Connor McDavid. And Blake Lazote to nine ninety nine is the last one from Synergy. Synergy. S P X eighteen nineteen. We'll finish it off with uh, Premier and Black Diamond. I haven't made up my mind which I'm doing first yet. I'm thinking uh, Premier first and then Black Diamond. Brett Howden to 299 relic for the Rangers. There's Darnell Nurse auto impressions auto to 249, going out to the Edmonton Oilers. Ryan Harold. Michael Rasmussen to 299 for the 
Detroit Red Wings, and Rasmus Dahlin. Back-to-back Rasmuses. That one's number 299. Shadow box rookie going out to the Buffalo Sabres. Wade Preston. All right, Premier and then Black Diamond. Some of these are signed, I think, sometimes. Unless they did that just for 15, 16. Some of the tins in Premier are signed, I think. Not this one. I remember 2014 Tops Allen Ginter. That, that was the craziest time of my life. <clears throat> just for this product. So 2014 Tops Allen Ginter. So this wasn't revealed until someone did it, I guess. Inside the top flap of the box, so it'd be like, uh, you know, this top flap here. Inside the top flap, it was kind of thick. Inside there, they hid glossy 101 cards inside the box top. I'm talking two weeks after releases isn't found out. Everyone's panicking. They're going to dumpsters trying to find... I mean, we must have thrown out 100 boxes. Probably contained like a Mike Trout 101. That was just ridiculous. All right. I'm glad they don't do that stuff anymore. Jeff Skinner to 249. There's uh, Philip Chalpik to 399. There's Travis Sanheim, number uh, 299. RPA. RAP. For the Flyers, Steve Birch. That was crazy times. Kaylor Yamamoto, Oilers. Alex Tuck, auto for the Vegas Golden Knights. Rookie autograph. Yager, Guy Lafleur, Steve Eiserman, and Joe Thornton. Quad patch number 25. That's a randomizer. Got quite a bit of randomizing to do. And then Anders Bjork, Relic. Bruins. I'll probably have a recap in a separate video, just in case. I want to get everything top-loaded. All right, Black Diamond, and then we're done. Then we'll do some randomizers. There's the Exquisite Pack. Bingo, bango. Cool. Thanks, Joe. All right, we got a booklet in here. That's cool. Little Super Mario, Mario Lemieux, Penguins, number 249. Nice, Ryan Donato. Manufactured Team Logo Jumbo Patch for the Bruins. That's Zach Paul. Tanner Pearson, Gemography. Auto for the Kings, going out to Jan. Number to 199, Anthony Sorelli for the Lightning. Booklet right there. Rookie booklet relic for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Jason K. And we have a diamond relic rookie, a single diamond. Number to 99, Samuel Monte Balt. Monte Balt for the Florida Panthers. Nice. Chad Sylvia with the Panthers. Nice one, Chad. Maybe the autograph is in a maybe exquisite auto. Here's the pack. It is an exquisite rookie. It is Brady Kachuk, twenty-one of twenty-seven. Number to his jersey number. That's cool. Ottawa. Scott C. So there you go. That was the break. Um, we have quite a bit of randomizing to do here. First thing we need to do is randomize these cards left and right. These uh, dual 
Young Gun cards. We'll randomize all those in one one kind of thing. We'll get the uh, this quad relic done, and then we'll get this uh, Wah and Van Beesbrook. I gotta look up where the checklist has these guys going because it doesn't have any team logos or anything. So let me look these up. So we'll go by group break checklist. If group break checklist doesn't have it, go to the team they played for longest since they're all retired. So if you're watching, um, I'm actually, no, I'm going to keep it rolling. Just keep the video rolling. Four randomizers to do. So let's go to 17, 18 hockey. Gila Floor All Stars Canadians, so they're the first team on the board. Steve Eiserman, I'm guessing, is Red Wings. No. Penguins. Interesting. Penguins on the All Star. Eiserman. Next is Yager. It could be any team, right? Yager. Penguins on the All-Star Quad Player Relic. Remember, we don't do majority rules here. Everyone gets a shot at the randomizer if you have a card. And Joe Thornton is Sharks, yeah. Sharkos. Okie doke. Next is left to right for the... Series 1, Series 2 cards. And then we got Avalanche and Panthers. And then the final randomizer will be for the Austin Matthews, which will take all 31 names. All right, here we go. Here's the randomizing. This is for all four. We're going to go eight times. So the first one we'll do is the left and rights. Um, I'll show it real quick so if it goes to the left it'll, we'll give it to all the teams on the left side of the card if it goes to the right we'll give it to uh, the right side yeah we're going by just group break chuckles on that ping it says uh, is that an error? maybe he was a coach I showed it right Iserman PQ4AST, right? PQ4AST is the card number. I guess I should look it up first. They're wrong on that. You know, I'm just going to put Steve Eisenman on it, and if the Eisenman wins, we'll figure it out. I can contact group break checklist. So I'm just going to put Steve Eisenman there. And then it won't be a problem, obviously, unless he wins that randomizer. All right, we're going to go eight times. First one is left and right. One? I don't think Cardboard Connection would list a team, though. Four... Five, six, seven, and eight. Wow, left side dominated that. Gonna go to the left side on all those dual cards. Next one is Avalanche Panthers for the Patrick Waugh, John Van Beesbrook. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Sticks to the Panthers on that after eight times. Panthers is Chad Sylvia. Next one is the Canadians. 
Steve Eiserman, we're still questionable on that. Um, if the Eiserman spot wins, I'll have to contact Group Egg Checklist, and maybe they'll make a correction to that. Um, so that's a TBD on the Eiserman. Then the Penguins on Yager and Joe Thornton as Sharks. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eighth and final time. Eight, Sharks. Joe Thornton. Zach, that one. And now, the eighth and final time. Top name gets this pop one. Only one graded out of ten. 16, Upper Deck Premier, Austin Matthews, Rookie Patch Auto. <laughs> I know, I, I kind of saved my butt there. All right, name on top wins this. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth and final time, eight. Ryan Harold from a spot he won in ice hockey, one box break one after eight times. Congrats to you, sir. You get the Austin Matthews rookie auto patch number to uh, 199. That's a population of one. Could be a nice hold. Or you could sell it now, I think. I think the raw versions go for around five to 600. I think this could be a $1,000, maybe a little more card, in my honest opinion. So there you go. That was the break. Uh, coming up in a separate video will be the recap. Thanks, everybody.